Hey folks, welcome back to Black and White. Here in the Desert Resort, leaving immediately, thank god. Uh, heading back to Route 4 and then up to Nimbasa City, where we are supposed to meet uh, Professor Juniper, and we have another gym battle coming up. What do you have to say? Freeways, my god, technology. Anywho, here's a hiker, kind of out of place, I, I don't know what he's going there, whatever. Through here, and hello, we have Juniper and Sharon. So bossy, Jaren. And ta da, you get Ultra Balls, which are precisely twice as effective as regular Pokeballs. Step up from Great Balls. It's worth using if you are having a particularly tough time, but you don't really need to rush out and use them. Bye bye, Juniper. So yeah, Sharon is kind of getting the idea, and he's going to forget it pretty soon. But the idea is the journey, not the goal of being the best. It's like a philosophical thing. Anyway, Nimbasa, and oh my god, Team Plasma. They are threatening the daycare guy, who hasn't been prominently featured at all, because he doesn't even have a unique sprite. And, uh, even though there aren't any new Pokémon for this fight, I'm just showing the entirety of it because it's... kind of important, I guess? I don't know. It, it lets me show off, uh, the new Rilanga Super Style a little bit more. Now, I am still a lot higher level than these guys, partially because they're grunts and they aren't really supposed to be difficult. Uh, but... Berlanga hasn't really put up a, up against a wall here. Anywho, Crunch... I, the thing about Berlanga is that I, it has really good, actually, uh, type coverage at this point. Water move, rock move, dark move, and some other move that I'm forgetting at the moment. Ground move, I have Dig on there. But, like, you can actually deal with a lot of different types of Pokémon, which I couldn't really do when I was stuck with only a Psychic and Grass move on separate Pokémon. So yeah, adding just a single Pokémon really expands your, your possibilities. Anyway, nothing new there, nothing too difficult, unless you're still having trouble with Watchog, which I could understand. Yeah, you, you shout your plans to the world, alright. And ta-da! A bike. I've been looking forward to this so much. Guess I was getting sick of holding down the run button. <laughs> now, unfor- oh, hey. Hey, Bianca, I forgot you were coming. Yeah, Nimbasa has a whole bunch of different, like, tourist attractions. Um, which I'll be vis visiting in a later video. But for now, we have a bike. Which isn't my, my favorite bike in the series. And you know I'm getting petty when I'm talking about my favorite bike in the series. But, like, the music isn't my favorite. It doesn't really give any exhilaration of speed. It's just pretty much for convenience. Anyway, hi there, musical. With a star. Uh, musicals take the place of Pokemon contests and the Pokeathlon. And guess what? It's just about as interesting as the prior two. Oh boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play dress up. This was not directly directly lifted from from Super Contest. No way, no sir. But anyway, let's play dress up with Lilo because that's what men do. And um, basically, if I'm ever forced to play dress up. I, I watch the tutorial, and then I do one outfit and one outfit only. Give him a tie, or a bow in this case. Try to give him a cane, but he can't really hold canes, and give him a top hat. 
there is no reason to use any other accessory unless you're actually trying to win, in which case, screw that, you're a loser. But the point is to see your Pokemon in the top hat. That's honestly the only reason I can think of to actually participate in this. And let's leave. So I was silent there, because for once I really didn't want to ruin the moment. That's a pretty important scene, although it may not be the most heart-wrenching or anything. It brings up a very valid struggle that everyone's going to go through. Now back to anime. Yep, it's N. He's seen Team Plasma. And now he wants to go on the Ferris wheel. Yes, let's let's get on the Ferris wheel, the guy who has picked a fight with us several times. And he got another pretentious split screen here. Also, hey. Hey. We we are stuck on a Ferris wheel with our arch nemesis. If this were a more mature game, this could potentially end in disaster, but nope. 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 And we're just we're just gonna talk. Uh, 647? Currently? Oh, hey, hey, look at this. Oh, it's, it's, it's Team Plasma. Hi. So I guess my issue with that is that, um, basically, it fails to convey the information in any sort of interesting way. It's just N walking up and saying, like, hey, hey, I'm gonna be the final boss. And, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. It's not, like, any sort of big reveal. It's just text on the Ferris wheel. Anyway, he fights this again, uh, using all Pokemon from Route 4. And Berlanga basically has a field day with it. Because it can be super effective against most of them. And Lilo had a little more trouble. Uh, I decided I wanted to do some, some working up to do better against these guys. If you let him attack, he can use embar Embargo, which uh, will make you incapable of using items. I believe that applies to hold items. It definitely applies to trainer items. I remember a long, long time ago in like, my Starly-only Cynthia battle or something, or Cyrus battle. Uh, someone told me that Embargo didn't apply to trainer items. It applies to trainer items, in, at least in this game. Anyway, Scraggy, I don't know if I showed off Scraggy. I don't remember what I actually showed in Route 4, because I knew that N would just show it off anyway. Um, very popular fighting dark type. Physical attacker, of course. And uh, with that swagger, I got an attack boost for the rest of the battle, which... I believe just sealed the deal on everything, basically. 
if you're a special attacker, it's kind of annoying, but if you're using a physical attacker, like both Relo and Belonga are, it's, it's to your advantage. I found myself using Reversal more and more in place of, of Takedown. Also, it is Brick Break, which uh, gets me down just enough, enough to make Reversal actually useful. I uh, started using Reversal more because it doesn't have recoil like Takedown. I cannot wait until I get returned. But for now, it's just Reversal, Reversal. Anyway, Seaglyph. I guess this is technically from the from Relic Castle, but... Eh, same diff. It's Flying Psychic, if you didn't know. And Rock Tomb. Excellent. And an unnecessary critical. Crunch makes no problems here. I will admit, actually, I lost against Nen twice with Lilo in this fight. Um, it's just... I, I won't show the failures, but it was, it was frustrating. Like, it was basically, will the, R the RNG, the random number generator, uh, go my way? And eventually it did. I mean, as you can see, I didn't have much trouble this run. Basically, in a, a solo run, it will either go perfectly, horribly, or tediously. And in this case, it, it went perfectly. And, uh, yeah, this is basically the worst way to contrive an ending ever. They were trying to tie the main plot to the Elite Four plot, to the Gym Challenge plot. And that just doesn't work. I still don't really understand why he wants to be champion, but whatever. Wait, is, it, is that what I think it is? It's a Pikachu. It's a goddamn Pikachu. They told me that there wouldn't be any first generation Pokemon in this game. This will be all new Pokemon. That's a that's a Pikachu. They lied to me. Nintendo lied to me. Nintendo. Um, anyway, that takes care of Amusement Park, and we will tour Nimbasa City next time. And I will see you guys next time.